Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video we will solve this problem that is from the check your understanding section of work power energy. So let's read the problem statement. So we have a boat installed with two engines and it commutes between two towns P and Q that are connected by a river. The boat takes 50 minutes on its way from P to Q with only one engine on and it takes 25 minutes with both the engines on. Force of water resistance is proportional to the velocity of the boat relative to water. Assume water flow velocity to be uniform and the boat always moves with respect to the water with its maximum possible speed. What minimum time will the boat take on its return journey from like Q to P? Okay, with one engine and both engines. So do give this problem a try and when you're done, come back for the solution. So let's say the town P is over here and the town Q is, Q is over here and it is separated and the distance between these two towns is let's say L. It's given that the it's in the initial part of the journey it's given that the boat moves from P to Q. So let's say the velocity of the boat relative to water is U. Top speed of this boat is let's say U relative to water and the we don't really know the river flow direction so let's just assume it's like towards the left and let's say its speed is V. And in the problem, it's given that the force of water resistance is proportional to the velocity of the boat relative to water. So as this boat moves forward, the water resistance on it will be K times U. Okay, so now if I have to find the power delivered by the motor or the engine to this uh, boat, we can write it as F dot V. So the force provided will be equal to KU as the velocity as the speed of this boat is remaining constant, right? You can say there will be some turbines that are rotating behind the boat and the force applied by that would simply be KU and dotted with the velocity that it provides to the boat that is U. So it comes out to be KU squared. So this was the power when the when one engine was turned on. Now bo when both of the engines would be turned on at the same time, this U is going to become root 2 times. So when both the engines are turned on, the speed of the boat becomes root 2U. Okay, so from here we can say the time t1 which was given to be 50 minutes is the distance which is L divided by the speed relative to ground which is u minus v in this case and the time t2 which was given to be 25 minutes is L divided by root 2u now minus v. So now if I divide both of these equations I get this relation. Now we chose the direction of river flow towards the left and we got this relation left LHS is positive, RHS is also positive, which means our assumption was correct. If we assume the V to be on this side, then this equation wouldn't have been satisfied and the v direction of V would be wrong in that case. So our assumption that the river flow velocity was towards the left was correct, which means. Uh, now the question is almost done. So now during the reverse journey, the only thing that changes is the relative velocity, right? So the U is going to be in this direction and the V is also going to be in the same direction. So the time t1 dash, that is the time taken by the boat to go from q to p with one, one engine on is going to be L divided by u plus v. That is going to be L divided by 3 minus root 2 times u. So now all we have to find is the value of L by u from using this, we'll get 50 equals. Okay, so from here, we can get the value of L by u and substitute it in this equation to get the answer as 13.06 minutes. Now the value of t2 dash will be L divided by root 2u plus v and this will come out to be L divided by 2u which is 25 times square root of 2 minus 1 and after calculation this comes out to be 10.355 minutes. So I hope you enjoyed this solution. If you have any doubts you can comment down below and please like and subscribe for more videos and thanks for watching.